Um, yeah, really good effort by our club today. I, th I thought Luke Coleman took a step forward, um, was was, um, was sharp on the mound for four innings, and obviously a lot of production up and down the lineup. Anytime you score 17 runs, you, you know, you got to be pleased. So um, it was good to see a lot of hard contact and good to get a lot of guys in the game and, um, and just a really good outing for us today. So uh, you got to get a lot of guys at bats today. Um, how important will that be to get as many at bats as possible SEC play. Well, you know, I've kind of said a lot. I feel like we've got, you know, 12 or 13 starting players, and um, you got to develop your team, you know, and also you got to, each day you show up to the park, you got to play to win. So um, it's always great to get a lot of people in there when you can because every, every team across the country has a surprise. You know, there's going to be somebody that doesn't start up in a day that's hitting in the five hole when you get to the back half of the season and somebody plays a lot early that that gets passed and it's just it's just part of it you just don't know what's going to happen when the lights come on so um and you're seeing some of that with, with our team already just eight games in i mean this is really we're nine games in. it's a really small cross section of our season and you're seeing some some guys we had expectations for that are scuffling a little bit and then you know some guys are getting some opportunity and they're ready when they're they're getting their chance so that's those are all good things Camden, you were one of those guys. Uh, can you just walk us through the uh, the grand slam that that? Yeah, just been staying ready every single day and just saw the ball well and saw a slider down and just stayed down through it and just hit it out. Coach, when it comes to the schedule, kind of you know being a little bit wonky, having to reschedule games, having to move games up, how's it how's it feel to have a veteran team that doesn't really worry about you know stupid issues that can prepare themselves regardless of what happens? Yeah, that's a great point, and I appreciate you bringing it up. Um, you know, I, I keep using the word maturity with this group, and you know, we got so many guys that they've had all those experiences of moving games around or sitting in the hotel for six hours and getting the call, and hey, we got to go and play cash and play. So, um, you know, we got a lot of guys that, that we can't throw a lot at them that they haven't had to deal with, and um, you know, we—it's uh, no secret we weren't very good on Tuesdays last year, and. Um, We've tried the whole deal where you take Monday off and play Tuesday, so they're rested mentally from the weekend. We've practiced on Monday and given them Wednesday off, and we, we've shaked it up and done different things throughout our time here. And I really think, you know, I have a lot of confidence that this group's ready to play every day. Doesn't mean we'll play great, but they'll be ready every day. In addition to um, you mentioned that Jim Jarvis, before he got caught stealing, pitchers try to pick him off about four or five times. What is it like having that guy on the lineup that honestly just make pitchers worry like that while they're, you know, strike from the pitch? Yeah, Jim's got uh, outstanding instincts on the bases. We give him a lot of freedom. And, um, you know, he's got good stolen base numbers in his career. And, they, I mean, the other teams know that. So um, they did a nice job of pick, 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 and, and threw him out. And that doesn't happen very often. Well, TJ Reeves was back in town today. Did you get a chance to speak to him? Or, and is it always good to see former players returning? Yeah, it was awesome to see TJ and Kyle Cameron, you know, uh, played for us and coached with us and Evan Bush was a great player here and is on staff there. So I have a lot of respect for Jim Case and, and the Jacksonville State program and it was great to see all those guys and just so happy for TJ. You know, he's really developed himself into a great player, made a, you know, hit him a, a new home run, made an amazing play. I mean I gotta think I don't know what else is, you know, in their league, but I gotta think I gotta think he's uh, got a chance to be the player of the year in their conference and just happy for him. He's a great kid from a great family. Yeah, it's just awesome. I mean, me as a freshman last year, it was awesome to get in those midweeks and just get experience and reps. So it's just awesome that we're getting big leads and being able to get those guys in. You know, uh, you came off the bench and hit that home run. How do you come off the bench like that and hit a ball 400 plus feet for four runs, just staying cold, just always ready? Yeah, just staying ready, staying faithful to just trust God's plan for me and just whenever I get that chance, just try to make the most of it. Yeah, I think Colby's been great. Um, you know, he's a really talented freshman. And, um, you know, having such an older team, I really had zero interest in starting a freshman or, you know, pitching these freshmen in high leverage situations early. But some of those guys like Colby just kind of made me do it. So um, baseball's hard, man. He's, he's sitting 350 and 
um, getting on base at a high clip. He hasn't uh, doesn't chase pitches out of the strike zone very often. He's a very uh, mature baseball player, and you know, with a lot of talent and extremely hard worker, and just really proud of uh, what he's done to this point. I got one last thing. So um, Holman struck out seven today. Six of them are swinging. So uh, what was working for him today? Yeah, Luke's really talented. I just thought he um, he just had a little more conviction. Um, you know, Luke's got a great arm. I guess he's up to maybe he's kind of pitching 92, 94. He's got a great breaking ball, a good change up. And, um, yeah, just I thought he had a little more intent and conviction in the way that he was executing and finishing those pitches today. And he's going to get some big outs for us this year for sure. And then how does a win like this, a 17-run win, just affect the clubhouse? Like how does the clubhouse after the game – Everyone looked excited on the field with the lights flashing. I'm sure everyone on offense is feeling good. There was contributor, up, contributors up and down the lineup through substitutions. Everyone was doing something, being a part of the team. Yeah, the, the days like today are fun because you, you get a lot of guys in lineup, and obviously to score 17 runs, a lot of guys are you know having success. So th those are really good for team dynamics, and you know the, we'll go through a stretch where um, where it doesn't go great for us, or you know we're in a bunch of tight games, and it, it's not quite the case, but um, but yeah, it's, it's fun when everybody plays and does well. Let's talk about the veteran leadership of the team. Was it fun getting those old guys off their feet today to get a chance to watch the young guys play? Hey, they're, they're not old enough where they need four innings of rest, you know. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I think it says a lot about the makeup of the, the character of our kids, because you do see some of those guys that, that play a lot, they come out of the game and they're, you know, super excited for the guys that get in there, and, and that's you know, that, that's why I think we have a chance to achieve, you know, to be greater than the sum of the parts because we have a lot of kids like that.